Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to brighten up any room with a furniture piece you already have. I'm going to show y'all a really easy way to do that. Also going to decorate for Christmas and a bonus, I have a really yummy recipe for y'all later on in the video. Alright, so here is our bookcase that's in my living room. It's a mess right now because I'm trying to clean it out and get ready for the Christmas stuff, but I really wanna paint this white. Um, I already started painting the shelves. I just, I had left it like that for a while, but now I want it all to be white. I just feel like it would brighten this room more with all the dark furniture. So, there's my dog, Sookie. Um, I'm gonna get all this stuff out and get the paint ready, and I'm going to start painting. I was gonna see if I could show y'all the paint, but I don't see it over here, so when I pull it out, I'll show y'all what it looks like. And this is something super simple, but I really think that it's gonna help in this room to brighten it up. Of course, the first thing we have to do is make sure we take everything out, and then we're gonna clean it off and take the shelves out. Make sure there's no any dust or residue left so that the paint goes on nice and smooth. This is the paint I'm using. I'm only using this because it's what we have left over from some other projects. I know what I got it at Home Depot, but I have no idea what kind of paint it is. I think I just picked up the cheapest. I didn't get it mixed or anything. I just picked up the cheapest one. I'm pretty sure this one's a satin. I know it's all, it should be up here. Yeah, it's a satin, pure white satin. Um, interior latex paint, not the oil paint. So I'm gonna use what's left in here. I don't think it's enough for this, but I'm gonna use up what I got left and then hopefully be able to go to the store and grab another one. I don't know how much it was, I would tell y'all, but I just don't remember, I got it so long ago. But this is what I use for all of my paint projects. I used to get chalk paint, but it's just so much more expensive, and really, there's not, like, nobody can ever tell the difference, so that's what I use. So I'm starting off with my Sureline Handy Painter. Instead of paint brushes, just because I didn't have any left, and I really didn't want to go to the store to get any. So this works just fine. It actually really helps to get the color evenly on there and you get quite a bit on there a lot quicker. The only problem with this is that it does bleed a little bit on the edges if I put too much paint on it, which is why now you're seeing me with a washcloth with some water, just touching up the areas that uh, bled onto this wallpaper. And the back of this bookcase is a wallpaper. It's not actual wood. A lot of people think that my husband and I made it that way, which I love, but we didn't. It's actually wallpaper. I think we got this one at Joann's, but I've seen it at Walmart and Hobby Lobby and really any of your craft stores. I wanted to take a minute and just say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. It seriously means so much to me and I would love to get to know you better. So leave me a comment down below with something about yourself. Maybe you're doing a project yourself um, at home that you'd like to tell me about. I would love to get some more ideas for my own. So let me know. done. I still need to paint up in here and then I need to paint down here the trim at the bottom on the sides and the front. I just don't have a brush for that so I need to go get one. I'll probably just get a cheap one from Walmart that I can throw away. Um, and then I wanted to show y'all like I don't paint perfectly. I like it with some of the lines showing or some of the wood showing like that right there because what I'm gonna do 
is after everything's all painted and done, I'm gonna run some sandpaper over it really quickly and just give it kind of like that old look, you know, not too old and worn out, but just a little bit, some off the edges. Uh, I just like it to look like it's been used and worn and loved. <laughs> so half of my family is sick and it's still a little bit cold outside. I'm gonna make some homemade chicken noodle soup, one of our favorites. This is all the ingredients you need. We've got an onion, some carrots, onion, carrots, celery. I had uh, one chicken breast left over and that's all I use is one chicken breast. Garlic, parsley, a little bit of ground paprika just for a little bit of color taste. Lemon juice, I was about to say lemon sauce. <laughs> lemon juice, egg noodles, salt, pepper, garlic, and bouillon. This is Unless you have chicken broth, you can just use chicken broth, but I do this because then it saves me money if I have a lot of this. I just add it into the water. But I will have the recipe um, down below if you want it, um, exactly what you need and how to make it. As a mom, our hands are never empty. <laughs> We always have either a baby in our arms or using our hands to help our children. And as of right now, baby girl doesn't feel good, so I'm gonna hold her as much as possible to make her feel comfortable, even if that means I have to hold her while I'm making dinner. For some reason, I've been craving soda so much. So tonight, that's what mama's gonna have. All right, chicken is done. Now, time to shred it up. Tell me why we have a house Full of toys and gadgets and when I'm cooking all the kids want to do is be right on top of me. Once you've mixed everything in and it's boiled and it's cooked, the noodles are cooked. I like to add milk or whipping cream. I usually do the whipping cream, I was out, which is why I use the milk, but you could use either one. I like mine to be a little bit creamier taste, not so much of the brothy taste, but it's up to you. It'll all be in the recipe below, but I am ready to eat this. Like It is seriously the best homemade chicken noodle soup recipe you will ever taste, I promise. We're at the doctor. <coughs> Baby girl has been sick for like six days and it's really getting to me. Mama, look at that poor little baby. So I'm hoping they're gonna give her something, help her better 
course today she's actually smiling and stuff, which is nice. But last night and the night before has really scared me. Her cough, but my kids have had a cold, but never, never like that. So to the point where she can't breathe, she can't eat, she can't sleep. She's throwing up, she doesn't have anything to eat or drink. Yeah. Well, Jade tested positive for RSV, which I was afraid of. Um, I was hoping that wasn't what it was, but that's what it is. So we didn't get any medication, but we do have a couple things that the doctor wants us to do. Um, it's gonna be a long road, you know, at least a week or more of her dealing with a really bad cough and all of that. So got a lot going on with that. And then my middle child isn't sounding good either. But I was able to come home, put the baby down to sleep, and starting on my bookcase, now that it's painted and sanded, I might do a little bit more sanding to it, I'm not sure yet, but I'm now trying to figure out how I wanna decorate it for Christmas. This is the hardest place for me to decorate. Like, no matter what, everywhere else, I know exactly how I want everything. I can put things up and be like, yes, that's what I want. And right here is the hardest for me. I probably go back and change it a hundred times, as you'll see. And by the end of this video, I do have it pretty much put together. And I really do like the way I put it together, but I'll probably end up moving stuff around again. Um, and I will have a Christmas home decor tour up soon. So you'll get to see the rest of the house. And this obviously will be in it it may or may not be different, but it will be in there. So you'll get to see the whole look. I have a few tips for decorating a bookcase um, or anything that has like shelving units. Definitely make sure that you're already picked out your color scheme so that you're not just grabbing from all over the place and getting confused. And also, if you have bigger pieces, make sure that you put those up first and then work around them. Now I'm gonna go over it again with this 120 grit sandpaper. The tip to this is always make sure you're making it look like it's old again. So when you look at old pieces, usually it's worn down around the areas that you touch the most or grab, or maybe the areas that people have put, you know, items, books, or decor on top of the most. So that's where you wanna sand off the most paint so you can see the wood through it that really gives it that old antique look to it. Just really think about placement, you know, where would it be worn out the most?
doing? You standing up, mamas? Well, I'm done for now. I'm liking the way it looks down here. We'll just be pillows and blankets for now because some of the furniture is gonna be blocking this part. So you won't really be able to see it. Um, but everything else, I'm so happy with what I chose to put in here. Again, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna end up changing it here and there before Christmas, but for now I'm really loving it. Um, I definitely I had tried to add some old and some new. I have a lot of pieces that were given to me by my mom. I have pieces in here from Target, from Hobby Lobby, from all over the place. But this one shelf is definitely my favorite part. These pots were given to me by my mom. And I just think they really look so cool, just stacked up and putting some little trees in there. I still think that I'm probably gonna add some greenery to it somewhere, maybe right there or in the back. But until then, I like it for now. A lot of this up here has more color and down here has a little bit more color. The old books are definitely a fan fave. <laughs> I love old books and this advent calendar for my boys. I actually found this at Kroger last year and I love this thing and the kids are always checking to see if there's candy in there yet. <laughs> oh, there's no candy yet guys. Hope you guys loved this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, if you're doing a project yourself at home, leave it me down in the comments, just a little bit about what you're doing. I would love to get some more ideas for my own home and different furniture pieces that I'm painting. Um, don't forget, I have my Christmas home decor video coming soon, so you guys will get to see all the rooms, including the kids' rooms and my room. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching my video, and I'll see y'all next time.